I have a guy who I shall say is unnamed who said, I don't have any big problems with my gut or anything and found out he had to eliminate a couple things. And I said, dude, just humor me. After you eliminate these couple things, you can thank me later because for the first time in your life, you'll know what normal is. I'm living proof. He is my husband. <laughs> Guys, he had no idea. <laughs> We have so many alumni who are just sharing some different things that they had to avoid. Kelly said she did a hair test and it showed tons <laughs> of problems. And then after the program, the only thing she's having to avoid is cow dairy. That's huge. Yeah. Well, that's huge. And the thing is, Kelly, if eliminating all those foods based on your hair test worked, you didn't need to work with me, right? But the fact is that didn't work. Not only did she pay for this very expensive hair test, she eliminated all this stuff. It didn't work. And then only to find out through our testing when they, she went through our program that it was what? what Cow dairy? That was it? And that did that work? I only recommend stuff that works. Data is king. Yeah. Urbashi said that she had she's avoiding oats and she was eating oats every day for breakfast. She never knew. And people wonder why they're itching all day long. Right. And I've seen my allergists. I've had the IgE anaphylactic testing done. I've eliminated all this stuff and I still itch every single day. Well, that's your body telling you that there is data here that you're missing. There are solutions here that you're missing. Your body's screaming at you that this isn't correct data, right? Something is still really wrong. Yeah. Shelly said that was her. She eliminated so many foods and then you helped her in the program. Her issue was digestion. So she's forever grateful and her nasal allergies are even gone and she's able to eat food she hasn't eaten in years. That's a really big point with food mapping is because people tend to think that food mapping is just about gut symptoms or GI symptoms. And it is sure as hell not. And, and I can tell even with your family, there was like, that was a real eye opener. There are so many symptoms of autoimmunity, inflammation, allergies that are linked to food that people have no clue what normal really is. And I have a guy who I shall say is unnamed who said, I don't have any big problems with my gut or anything and found out he had to eliminate a couple things. And I said, dude, just humor me. After you eliminate these couple things, you can thank me later because for the first time in your life, you'll know what normal is. I'm living proof. He is my husband. <laughs> Guys, he had no idea. <laughs> so we go through the program and we were just so blessed to be able to go through the program and his, his food testing, came, his food mapping came back and he's like, what? I didn't know this. He cut out the foods he was intolerant to. And within seven days, he lost 10 pounds. He no longer was feeling bloated and sick after every meal. He was no longer running to the bathroom. And now here we are a couple, oh, it's about four weeks now. We're four yeah. weeks out from there. And he has had terrible allergies his entire life. Yeah. And this season, he's like, I went three days without taking any allergy medicine and I'm not in an allergy flare. Do you think that's from cutting out the foods I'm intolerant to? I said, yes. <laughs> he's like, oh my gosh. Oh it's my real. God. It works. Like, it does. Does. A million billion dollars for that information. <laughs> <I'm> done. done. <laughs> Just, it was lovely so to see that. It was lovely to see that. And I love being able to tell people that food mapping is so much more than just about GI symptoms. It really, there are so many other symptoms that it's involved in and such a huge trigger of autoimmunity. And you don't know what the hell normal is until you've actually eliminated the right foods and reintroduced the right foods back as well. His, fav you. his favorite line used to always be, my stomach is pissed. That's what he would always say. And yeah. the other night we were sitting down to dinner and I said, wow, you haven't said that in weeks. And he's like, it's never pissed anymore. My body, I'm no longer giving my body the things that it hates because now I know what not to eat. Oh, and he's a little bit of a skeptic. Oh, he was a total skeptic. He's like, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not interested in this. I don't think it works. I don't, can't you just order those online? Everybody does them. No, no, no. No, and no, and no. <laughs> You know, someone just brought up the whole issue around digestion. So I'm going to go into talking about the subject around food mapping. Food mapping isn't just about food sensitivity testing or intolerance testing. We just went through the whole process of why the data is king, the training and mentorship is king, right? And the reintroduction is really king. But I'm going to talk right now about why 
there are so many other pieces of data that we glean from our food mapping process that's really important in people dealing and mastering the whole issue around food. And someone just mentioned digestion. So believe it or not, our food mapping process that people go through, you actually learn to figure out what's going on with my digestion. Did you guys know that at least 90% of people with autoimmune disease have some part of the digestion broken? And that's a huge part of why they have autoimmune disease. Did you hear that? And did you know that in this food mapping process, I really go through and I teach people how to use the data, how to use symptoms, how to think like me to figure out which step in digestion is really causing this problem. And it was so interesting because some people came back with nothing, like we've had this this week where a couple people came back with nothing that was positive. And they swore that it was going to be something like 10 million things because they responded to 10 million things, right? And they've eliminated 10 million things. And it turns out the negative is basically pointing towards, you know what I say, being ne negative results are just as important as positive results because negative tell results tell you what it's not, then you can start honing in what it is. And it turns out, like somebody this week had the negative result clearly pointed to they had a fat digestion problem. Every time they ate anything that had fat, whether it was vegetables or it was beef or eggs, they had a reaction. So elimination diet wouldn't do jack crap for that. And they have eliminated 90% of food on that, that they loved. And, and basically it didn't work. And then when we figured out it was a digestion problem, guess what? She's able to eat all those foods again because you can actually fix digestion problems. Booyah, okay? So digestion is part of this food mapping process, right? And who the heck talks about digestion and autoimmunity? I haven't met anyone else, okay? You gotta master digestion when you deal with autoimmunity. That's why this is a really important part of this process. The other thing is there's so many additional pieces of data besides what the food results are. There are hints on, there, are, there is data that will, can point to uh, infection. Okay. Is there an infection going on? Are there other types of food reactions that are happening that's not related with a slow, low allergy? There's information that points to genetics. Is there a genetic issue with gluten? Those are some additional data points that you don't expect just doing a food test. That's why this is a whole process called food mapping. So for me, it really is carries the whole weight of a holistic approach of looking at what can every po possible problem that happen with food is causing your symptoms and let's troubleshoot a out like a clear algorithm of how to figure that out using your data. And yes, it is a blood test. When you join our program, it is a blood test kit that we send out to you, a finger stick test for you to do. And it is an entire process. And that's why for me, there's so many additional pieces of data and insight that I have when people have these results. It's not just a simple food allergy test. There's going to be a lot that involves digestion, infection, genetics involved here. And that is one of the key points that is involved with a holistic, full package approach to dealing with food mapping food and, and what foods to actually uh, identify and what the processes are that are triggering the autoimmunity. The other thing that's difficult is, is that these reactions and results are very individualized to each person. For, for her husband, it could be no allergies or no abdominal pain. For another person, it's no headache. For another person, it's pain-free. For another person, it's no gas, no bloating. For another person, it's vision improvement. So this is one of those things where it's like, don't you want these individualized results? This is also why these having having huge studies that nobody make no big company makes money off of based on a process like this, you're not going to get, there's no million dollar study from Pfizer because there's no drug for you to take to, for them to make that money. So for me, this is very much a process where this is what I do from my years of experience, what I've learned and I share and I teach, and we actually have real clients with the real results share their journey with you, period. Today, we really busted some myths on elimination diet versus food mapping. I really went into detail to tell you what food mapping is. I also went in to tell you the why food mapping is the best, most comprehensive process that you can do to solve the mystery around what food is triggering your autoimmunity. And I also pointed out how important that it was only one out of the five pillars of the five pillars of transform. So that is the end. That's a wrap. Thank you, everyone. That was awesome. And I want to thank all the alumni for commenting here. Thank you, Amanda, for joining me today. Of course. Thanks for having me.